Yo, it's your boy GT here from the Gangster Times. Please like, comment and subscribe to my channel. Also hit me up on Instagram, which is gangstertimes underscore official. And on my Snapchat, type in the search box, Gangster Times. Check this one out, guys. NatWest is being investigated by the City Watchdog over alleged money laundering failures after £365 million was paid into the bank by a Bradford-based gold dealer. So the FCA claims that increasingly large cash deposits were made into NatWest company accounts of which some £264 million was cash. So it says that NatWest systems and controls failed to monitor and scrutinise this activity which took place between 11th of November 2011 and October the 19th 2016. So the account belonged to a Bradford based gold dealer and jeweller Fowler Oldfield Limited and the 122 year old firm was liquidated after a police raid back in 2016. So I'll come to that story in a moment. So up to £2 million in cash was delivered to Fowler Oldfield every day as part of an extremely sophisticated money laundering scheme. In the last statement by liquidators for Fowler Oldfield, dated December 2020, and filed at company's house, they said NatWest was the secure creditor and that the police held the company's seized accounts. So representatives from the bank's taxpayer-backed parent firm, the NatWest Group, are due to appear at Westminster Magistrates Court. It marks the first time the FCA has launched criminal prosecution under the money laundering regulations and the first time the rules have been used to prosecute a bank and NatWest faces an unlimited fine if convicted. The FCA said the money laundering rules require firms to determine conduct and demonstrate risk-sensitive due diligence and ongoing monitoring of its relationships with its customers for the purposes of preventing money laundering. So guys, check that out over the period of five years. £365 million was paid into one bank by a Bradford-based gold dealer. And no questions were ever asked. Absolute madness. Guys, check this out. Once I went to the bank and I went to put in like, I think it was three or four grand. And I got collared into a room and I got questioned about where this money come from. And here you've got people depositing fucking over £300 million and no question asked. Madness. So guys, as I stated in the video, the background to all this comes to a firm in Bradford which was called Fowler Oldfield gold dealer and back in 2020 four men were sentenced for their role in delivering hundreds of thousands of pounds of cash to a Bradford firm as part of a multi-million pound money laundering operation so the four couriers delivered nearly two million pounds between them in several villages to Fowler Oldfield Bradford Crown Court heard that they were identified after police see CCTV going back three weeks in a ledger book in a raid back in 2016 the court was told between two and eight couriers visited the premises of the gold and precious metal dealers a day, delivering up to £2 million. The men were from Merseyside and they all admitted charges of removing criminal property, namely monies, by means of transporting it to a business premises in Bradford where it was laundered through a business bank account. And this is the bank account that NatWest are getting done for. So the prosecutor, Jonathan Savage, stated at the time that it was a sophisticated operation handling huge amounts of cash and produced a useful source of funds by laundering cash for criminal gangs. He said it was a large-scale criminal activity producing a large amount of cash and the facilities provided by Fowler Oldfield were very useful. He said that the men were given money in payment for transporting bags to Fowler Oldfield. They were captured on CCTV handing the cash over at reception and were usually given an envelope containing a token as proof of delivery. The bags were then unpacked in a counting room, the money counted and the amounts from each individual noted in a ledger. He also went on to say that there was CCTV footage showing multiple comings and goings with deliveries by a number of people depositing large amounts of cash which was then counted by employees. The prosecutor said one of the defendants, Liam Sells, received a text message to pick up a bag but he did not know how much money was in it. He made deliveries to Fowler Oldfield in his own Volkswagen Passat. On the first date, he was the fourth of six couriers handing over black Slazinger holdalls, which was taken to the counting room. Bundles of cash totaling £254,000 were counted and entered in the ledger. On the second occasion, he was the second of eight couriers and arrived with a Sainsbury shopping bag and a sports bag and received a white envelope. The cash was mainly in Scottish banknotes and it mounted just over £200,000. The court heard that sales had a gambling debt and that if he had not delivered the money, there would have been consequences for himself and his family. There was another man who goes by the name of Joseph Murphy. He delivered 
nearly £700,000 on three occasions, the first being on August the 25th when he delivered a large suitcase that he struggled to lift containing 40 bundles of cash wrapped in plastic that amounted to £200,000. The next day he delivered a suitcase containing the same amount and then another suitcase containing two hundred and sixty nine grand. The court heard that the 78 year old Murphy was a street dealer who had debts of £3,000 and was paid £450 a delivery. The third defendant was William Aspie and he arrived in a Renault box van and he delivered a green bag which subsequently turned out to contain £95,000 and he was the third courier on the day and then the final defendant Daniel Mather made three deliveries totaling just under £600,000 and he was dropping them off in a night hold all. So guys that's just a little bit of background with regards to what this NatWest money laundering case is all about. Absolute madness. It can only happen in Bradford. It's your boy GZ. Keep it locked. Keep it real. As I mentioned in my video yesterday, if you are interested in purchasing any cryptocurrency, then I put a link in the description below on the app that I'm using, which is called SwissBorg. SwissBorg is a platform which helps users create and manage their crypto portfolios. And in my opinion, it's an easy and intuitive way to manage the crypto wealth. And in my opinion, it's much better than Coinbase, even though it doesn't offer as many coins they do. However, the fees are much cheaper. In the coming weeks, I'll be making a video with regards to review on SwissBorg because I feel as though it's not just only cryptocurrency you can purchase from there. Because I feel as though that they've got much more to offer because they're actually a wealth management platform and they want to provide the users with an infrastructure and tools to manage their cryptocurrency investments more efficiently. So if you're interested, the link is in the description below and if you've got any questions, just drop them in the comments. But just to let you know, I'm not a financial advisor. If you're putting in money, you're putting it in at your own risk. But for me, I think SwissBorg is a fantastic platform for cryptocurrency. And also, if you join up, you get entered into a lottery. So if you put in the first £50, you can get up to $100. Now, I say up to $100 because the most I've seen a person get is $15 and the least I've seen a person get is $2. But in the end, it's free crypto. So if you're interested, click in the link in the description below and I'll be making a video on this soon.